Welcome to Notebook, a program of interest to the St. Lucie County community that features information about St. Lucie County schools. Guests include school district and community leaders with focus on children in our community. Hello and welcome to this edition of Notebook. And this is a show where we connect you, our viewers, with community leaders and organizations, district personnel, and other businesses from around the Treasure Coast. And we are so glad to have you with us as part of this uh, next 30 minutes. Minutes. And we have a very, very special guest and a great friend um, here as our guest today. And we have Mr. Joe Lazo, who is principal of Westwood High School, soon to be our newest STEAM Magnet High School, only exclusive premier education center. That's one of your favorite little wow, titles right there. Um, coming and opening this fall. And we are really, really excited about what's coming for Westwood under your leadership. And just want to say welcome and glad you're here with us today. Thank you for having me, Jane. Yeah. I really appreciate being here. Today. Thanks. Thank thanks. You. It's great. Yeah. So I know you are not one of those people who loves to talk a lot about yourself and kind of your past and that's okay. But um, but we, this is such a great opportunity for people to, to get to know you a little bit about your professional journey because it's, it's, it's a very unique story. Um, it and, it it, and it's, it's always a, a great story. way to learn a little bit about people in the district that people may know your face but may not know a lot about your history in St. Lucie Public Schools all the mm -hmm. way up to where you are now. So would you mind just sharing a little bit about your professional journey and how you came to the position you're in now? Okay. Uh, thank you so much for, first of all, the invite to be here. Sure. Uh, for me, Jane, it, it's a long story. I moved down to Florida in 1989, and I am a product of St. Lucie Public Schools, uh, class of 96 with Port St. Lucie High School, go Jags. <laughs> uh, and along the way, I decided that uh, I remember sitting in my economics class, and my teacher asked me, what are you going to do with yourself, Joe? And I said, you know what? I, I don't know. What, what was out there for me to do? Yeah. So I decided education will be something that I will explore, not knowing that this is what I was chosen to do. Uh, so along the way, I decided to see what is all about education. So I started as an ESOL para many, many years ago <laughs> in the district and actually just worked my way through the system. And one day, uh, one of my principals tapped me on the shoulder and says, you know, I see more in you than you see for yourself. And you need to start thinking about leadership. Uh, so I explored that opportunity, and long and behold, I'm here at the famous Fort Pierce Westwood High School as a principal. <laughs> it's, it's so amazing when you look at the short amount of time that you have progressed through um, the district, and you have such a great rapport with your students, and that's you. what I love more than anything, and your, and your teachers. And when you come to the campus at Westwood, you feel and see the difference, and um, I'm really looking forward to this next few minutes to tell people, you know, all of the things that are being accomplished here in the last couple of years. You've only been a principal, this is your second year. Second year principal. Which is hard to believe. Yeah. And, um, you know, now opening as the premier STEAM Magnet High School under um, the, the Magnet School Grant. We're gonna talk a little bit further about that. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it's just, it, it's amazing when you come on the campus and you really see yeah. some of the new things that are happening. So we're gonna get to talk about that in the no next problem. next few minutes. So um, Fort Pierce Westwood, when, we, when you hear Fort Pierce Westwood, you really understand the roots in the community. This high school, when, when you come across somebody that's an alumnus of Westwood and you say that motto, once a it's panther, Matthew. everybody- Always a panther. Always a panther. I mean, it doesn't matter where you are. If, if someone hears that right. phrase, they automatically answer that. And there's so much pride in the community, you know, wrapped around Westwood High School. So share with us a little bit about the history. Um, I know there's a few teachers who have been there for many, many years. Many years. Um, but just some of the background, you know, for people who may be new to this area that may may not know a lot about Westwood, mm -hmm. there, there's just such deep root roots as part of that. So share, share a little bit about the history with us. Absolutely, Jade. Uh, when you mentioned Fort Pierce Westwood High School, you said it in, in, in essence is pride. Uh, we are Panther Nation, uh, a school that is rich with pride and a self of accomplishments and excellence. Uh, the school opened up its doors in 1990, 1977, I believe, yes, uh, to ninth graders only. And with the first graduating class being 1978, uh, where 
Fast forward 41 years later, here we are. We're still in the business of developing, nurturing, and cultivating students to be future co community members of our society. Uh, so that is what the essence of Fort Pierce West was all about, a school that's full of energy and excitement and just students who really want to be there, and we're excited for them, and teachers who want to work with students. And that's what we're most excited about at Westwood. Absolutely, and what's exciting is there's gonna be a bigger transformation about what Westwood is is about to experience through this grant. And over the past few months, we've been sharing with the viewers just about um, the MSAP grant. They've they've heard about what's happening at CAS, Creative Arts Academy of St. Lucie. They've heard about um, the changes that Sam Gaines Keith Davis was on the show um, last month and just talking about um, just the innovative programs that are being implemented there. And now we get to begin the campaign, the marketing campaign for Westwood. So in, in the fall, um, we'll actually begin re the recruiting process here in the next few months. But in the fall, it's gonna open its doors as a STEAM high school. And when we talk about that, what does that mean for Westwood? Yeah. Well, STEAM for Westwood means challenging the traditional ways of teaching and learning. It's bringing inquiry-based learning and problem solving at the forefront of the classroom, where students will have to use collaboration and problem solving skills to be able to work hand in hand with one another. Uh, this is the transformation of what STEAM is all about uh, that's going to be taking place at Westwood High School next school year. And we're excited about this as we're learning more about how we can infuse STEAM lessons in our instruction now, or we have uh, had the opportunity to have professional development surrounding around this. We have STEM advocates, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later on in the show. And okay. they're leading the charge in how to, as we say, STEMify yep. our classrooms uh, more. And it's just that challenge of what we do in the classroom each and every day, and bringing that excitement back into the learning for our students. It's awesome. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. And as a result of, of this grant and those STEAM um, programs that are going to be implemented, um, you've been able to already implement and begin several of the, the programs already for this fall, which will really make it really special because it will actually give families and students an opportunity to see the programs in action, not just hear about them, which is really unique. So that's exciting. Um, but I know there are some programs that are that are beginning that are exclusive to Westwood. They can't students can't get these programs anywhere else in the school district. So share with us about these unique programs that are going to be a part of. So Westwood. one of the pro we have four new programs that we've bought just exclusive just to Westwood High School. And this year we were able to use our incoming students as it will as to say as our trial basis to see how we can develop this curriculum, how can we develop the program and the needs of what we'll need so that when we open our doors next fall, that we'll have a full steam ahead programs and initiative. One of the programs I'm gonna talk about is our pharmacy technician program. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this is totally new for St. Lucie Public Schools and I think in the Tri-County area mm -hmm. as well. Uh, this program is it's truly uh, a very critical course and it applies skills where students will be able to take that into the industry in pharmaceutical technology and or colleges or careers as well. Uh, we're excited about that. Uh, we have a new teacher in that program who was coming right from the industry as a supervisor for many years in, I believe, uh, Walgreens, and there she's leading the way in that class for us. Another course that we're bringing on is our robotics engineering. Um, that course is going to offer students an opportunity to get hands-on with engineering and technology skills and state-of-the-art equipment and how to build and design uh, their uh, coursework for themselves. Uh, another one we're going to uh, bring along is our health unit coordinator course. It's more of the business side, the front end management side mm -hmm. of the health industry where we see a growing need for that in our community as we move forward with uh, the increase in our, our enrollment and population here in St. Lucie Public Schools. Sure. Yes, and then another one is going to be our computer science. Well. I want to add a little twist to computer science because <laughs> a little bit, it's a little bit more than that. Yeah. It's truly um, a, pure, a futuristic lab experience for students, augmented reality, where we're talking about 3D imaging. We're talking about um, 
students having to use virtual reality to guide their pathway in the classroom. And this is something that our one of our instructors who's coming from the collegiate level coming down to help infuse that instruction now with some of our students. And all these courses require a foundation and build your way through. So these are uh, four year courses that students will have an opportunity to take and be a part of with uh, underneath this grant process with uh, Westwood High School. And when you get a chance to see the classrooms and, and we're gonna talk about that like that kind of segued perfectly into my next question because one of the things that um, the district was busy doing was building um, several new classrooms, um, extending um, not only for the existing prog some of the existing programs, but for brand new programs. And um, it was really cool to see a lot of new building. It gets people excited, yeah. you know. Um, but talk about it a little bit with, with these new classrooms. It not only provided new opportunities for the new programs being implemented, but it's also enhancing some of the existing programs. Right. So especially our vet, your vet tech, I'm saying our, um, your vet <laughs> tech program. I know, thank you. Um, so t share with us just a little bit about sure. what that means for the programs that are in already in place Correct. with this growth. So one of the areas that uh, through this grant was helped, uh, had a great infusion about is in our science lab, a totally new science lab that is being able to be installed for our students so that uh, we have that science part of that steam ready to go. Right. Right. Uh, then with our agriculture and our veterinary science programs that we have at our campus already, which were a part of the attractor for our students to exclusive just for Westwood, uh, they're also being touched by the grant mm -hmm. with new equipment, uh, new marketing as well for our students. And I know for a fact in our veterinary science lab, our, our vet teacher is working hand in hand in the industry right now and looking to bring in the surgical aspect so students can have that true hands-on hands experience right. with how the surgical centers are ran in a veterinary hospital. And we're excited about the work that is going there. And in our agriculture, agricultural science class uh, with Mrs. Blankenbaker, she is taking this to a whole nother extreme. They're working hand in hand with the U.S. Uh, Food Department, University of Florida. They're, this week, just this past week, they're working on our three acre garden outside, bringing that wow. farm to table concept uh, to in our schools and our students are really enjoying that level of hands-on experience that that groundbreaking work that is taking place there right and as you're talking about the agriculture you know our partnership with USDA the University of Florida Extension mm -hmm. that, that's significant and Jen has done a, an amazing job connecting all those programs and the building those business partnerships yeah. which is she's done a phenomenal oh, job, job I know Correct. yeah and, and even better things coming which yeah, is really sure. cool um, so one of the one of the other things that I know have been implemented um, that's really significant to the advanced level courses um, I know as we've talked through the grant in the other two schools they have been begun the implementation of the Cambridge University pre ACE programs through the, the middle school and then all the way down through our K-5 um, with the Cambridge primary programs, but what does this, um, what do these courses mean for the students at Westwood? Because um, the opportunities through this, this certification um, and their diploma program, not the certification, I use the wrong word, yeah. but their diploma program, what does that mean for students? This is really significant. This is a huge undertaking. Sure. It provides students a different pathway uh, b besides dual enrollment or AP coursework, where this framework, as we refer to as ACE, uh, students get to select the classes that they're the most interested in um, to, with that level of rigor and expectations that has taken place in the classroom. It provides them to be global thinkers, to think critically beyond what's in front of them. Uh, with ACE, what I'm excited about, you kind of hinted on that, is that diploma program for right. students because students can take uh, a series of courses that they're interested in and upon completion of the diploma track, they're able to qualify for Bright Future Scholarship as long as they meet the other requirements as well for Bright Features. So that's exciting for our students who want that different pathway of that advanced level coursework other than dual enrollment or AP. Right, which is, oh, to, to, to know all the trainings that your teachers have been participating in and just the excitement that that, 
you know, it, it's not a curriculum. It's mm -hmm. really a way of instructing. It's it, and it's it's just a new way of thinking. Just mm -hmm. just like you said. And um, I know your some of your teachers are getting ready to attend some additional trainings, trainings and things. Um, and just looking forward to what they're going to bring back and to your students. So um, these are great opportunities that are that are here. So um, you had also mentioned the MOA program. So let's Correct. let's touch on that just a little bit more. Um, this is the Marine Oceanographic Academy, Academy. and that, that's a mouthful, and you're going to have to say it slow, that's in partnership with Florida Atlantic University. And this has been a program that's been in existence for quite a few years um, that's been really successful. But here in the last year or so, this has exploded. And what you have done um, and really promoting this program to the students in St. Lucie County has just been phenomenal. I know your numbers have pretty much doubled um, and the number of kids on this campus is just it's amazing what you've done you know with your your team here in the in the last year and I know you're getting ready to have another kind of introductory night information night talk to us a little bit about that yeah well the introductory night is going to be by invite to uh, our current eighth graders in St. Lucie Public Schools to come out and just explore what our MOA program is all about and with the partnership with Harbor Branch and FAU. Um, one part that uh, I am so excited about that is going into effect starting this spring is a partnership with Florida Atlantic University and our students able to take some of their courses that the Harbor Branch students take as well. Oh. And so that's a great experience that this is something new for just for Westwood right. uh, once again, Jane. And and the scientists actually teach part of the lesson to our students uh, once a week. They go in, they go over for labs. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a great experience for students to truly get that hands-on experience uh, at the collegiate level, working with scientists in the industry of marine oceanographic uh, process. And it's just a great chance for students to uh, have that exclusive program just to, for themselves to be a part of and get that deep, rich um, science background that they would like to have for themselves. Yeah, and which is seamless with the STEAM approach because that, that program just you know yeah. solidifies um, the grant kind of expectations mm -hmm. and tying all together the, the science, STEM, engineering, arts, mm -hmm. and math. Yeah. Um, and, and I had a chance to spend some time over on the, the MOA campus for testing last year, so <laughs> I had never been there, and it was just like, oh my gosh, just the culture there, the kids are just so engaged and excited about what they're learning, and you can tell the teachers really love what they're doing over there. Right. And um, But they also get a chance to come to main campus Correct. as well occasionally. Yes. Uh, so if a student decides that at the end of the day, uh, if there's a course that is not offered at the MOA campus, we actually traditionally offer mostly all the academic courses uh, at the MOA campus. But if a student wants to take an elective or a uh, band, chorus, uh, weightlifting, PE, uh, different types of PE courses that's not offered at the MOA campus, they're more than happy to come over to main campus as a blended uh, classroom so that they can have an opportunity to be on the MOA campus for part of the day and they can be on main campus for part of the day. It's a great opportunity to be still be a part of the high school experience sure. uh, because I sometimes I, I feel sad for some of the MOA students because they don't get the true high school, high school experience, experience because yeah. it's exclusive just for them. It's a smaller campus uh, and I, I, it's a mission of mine to try to get there as, as much as possible so that I can interact with them in, at their space as well. Yeah, that's yes. good. Yeah. That's good. And you had mentioned just a kind of pot piggyback on another thing that you had mentioned, you had talked just briefly about the virtual augmented reality. We're going to kind of touch a little bit more on the technology side of things. Um, as, as we look at the, the new classrooms, there's one very special classroom that um, the Fab Lab that, oh my gosh, I wish people could see the before and after um, pictures because this had many years ago had been a what was it workshop it, it was a workshop yep yeah. uh, it was the carpentry Cop class okay Correct. and you know back back in the old days when i was in high school we had the carpentry classes and um wood woodwork or wood shop i think is what they always called it Correct. um and when we went into that room and it's it's huge um and just could see the possibilities of what could happen in this space. Um, now it's up and running. Um, it has just taken on this new transformation. It's become your robotics lab. Um, 
Kyle Cobb is doing a phenomenal Good job in there. Mm -hmm. um, and we also want to talk just a little bit too about one-to-one, -one, cause I, I know that was one of the things that um, is unique to Westwood as well, that it's a computer one-to-one -one with students. So we'll kind of hit on that too. I'm kind of hitting you with two, two questions, questions at, at once. Time. Right. Yes. Make sure I'm paying attention. Um, yeah. So as part of the one-to-one -one technology, the students have the opportunity to, to really be, you know, hands-on all the time with technology in that innovative scope of, of learning. But then when they go into programs like the computer science project lead the way and in the fab lab there's there's a, a even bigger extension of learning so um, talk to us about what they're going to see in this fab lab and what students are already experiencing in the instruction um, as part of the, these courses okay. well let, let me hit on the well, one to one okay because uh, it's, it's the one to one concept is that every student has their own laptop that they can help to enhance their learning opportunity there uh, but in the fab lab and the computer science courses that we're developing it's more than technology mm -hmm. students are going to be able to experience where they have an idea they will plan that idea they will build that idea and then apply that idea to real world situations. Uh, these are the skills that we're talking about jobs are looking for from our students in the near future to have that collaboration, that thought process and the uh, problem solving skills necessary to be productive in the industry. Uh, our students in the fabrication lab, they're going to be working with state of the art technology, 3D imaging, 3D printing and our uh, new fabrication center that is that is actually being built oh, as we right speak. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. it's not up all the way yet, but it will be shortly. And I can't wait to see some of the work and the training that the students are going to have to go through to be able to program these devices in order for it to build that design concept that they're looking for. Um, so I'm excited about, as you said, Mr. Cobb and Mr. Menace oh, yeah. working hand in hand, hand, in hand together hand. Right. Uh, to develop the technology and the fabrication side of this, where students are going to be able to leave our school, Westwood High School, with industry certification in these programs that they can take with them to the universities, to the colleges, or right in the industry directly. Right. Yeah. And just walking in the other day, um, we had a chance to see some of the things that they, the prototypes that the kids Correct. had created out of cardboard <laughs> and actually created these movable robotic Art hands. Arms. Correct as prototypes with cardboard and um, syringes, syringes and water tubes. and it, as the water came in or out it moved the fingers up and down and I'm just going oh my gosh I mean just the math and the science behind what these kids have experienced you, you know just out of that I, it really is a fun activity Correct. but it, it was really cool to see what they've created and how that's going to go to the next step of the prototype to actually begin you know, creating those robotic arms and, you know, different mm -hmm. pieces that they're going to have a chance to experience. But um, here in the next few months with the par partnership with Microsoft and Lego Education, um, there's going to be an official um, ribbon cutting to mm -hmm. open this, you know, new space because it is so unique. No, no other school in say, none, none of the high schools in St. Lucie Public Schools has a space like this anywhere huh. close to this so um, so that'll be kind of uh, in it's coming it's coming it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> and what we're really looking forward to is having the opportunity to be on your campus and maybe a show in the spring live on campus to to really allow our viewers to see things you know firsthand so um, well, that'll be coming so right. be stay tuned so we'll be watching for that so um, you're recruitment process is really going to begin this fall and here in the next month or so um, we've already begun um, putting together a naming committee we've we've started that it has to go through that process um, as part of the grant requirements so mm -hmm. though there might be an extra little tag you know very similar to what we did with Sam Gaines you know with of emerging <laughs> technologies whatever it may be um, at new brochures um, all kinds of a, a new website new is being redone yes. so um, you know, as viewers are getting, you know, more familiar with what's coming with Westwood, they're going to start seeing and hearing more in this in social media about what's really happening. So um, with that, um, 
this information is going to be communicated multiple ways. So share with us some of the ways that people can maybe expect to find out more about what's happening at Westwood. Well, the primary place that I definitely say that the St. Lucie Public Schools website, uh, right. number one. Then right. from there, you can go to Fort Pierce Westwood website where we're going to try to ensure that we communicate this to all of our stakeholders as much as possible, what the process is as far as what the programs are, the time frames are going to look like for, uh, and social media, of course, because we know so many of our viewing audience participate in social media. So check us out on Facebook. Uh, we're trying to see if we can develop the Instagram right now. Not 100% yeah. sure, yeah. but we're going to see yeah. if we can get it work. But definitely you can follow us on Facebook uh, with all the information that we're going to have. And uh, we're just excited about all this new development that is taking place sure. right now. And there's actually going to be a brand new magnet application that will be um, special for Westwood. And that'll be up on the website here in the next few weeks Correct. should be fairly soon um, so we'll we'll be sharing some additional information about that and again you'll see that on the website um, and before I forget I just I saw one of the questions on my on my paper it's a good thing it's sitting here in front of me um, one of the things that's also unique to the three schools that are part of the grant are new positions and we talked about some of the courses you know that mm -hmm. you had have implemented that of course um, you know a new pharmacy teacher you know the new project lead the way computer science teacher but something that's very unique to these three schools is the steam advocates and the steam advocates have such a unique role and and really serving as kind of the lead teacher master teacher um, you know some of them may be looking into future administration experience um, but talk to us a little bit about just their role at Westwood and what it means for the success and implementation at Westwood for the grant program. Our STEM advocates are our true spearheading individuals that we have selected uh, to lead the way and STEMify our classrooms. I, I know it's a new word that we yep. just created. How about that, Jane? Right? <laughs> I love it. Uh, that they are yeah. going to lead the way with the project designs. Uh, they are tasked with professional development, training, and also do some recruitment as well um, in the classrooms, in their own classrooms, because they're also certified teachers as well. So they're carrying on their course load. And in addition to that, they're doing their work with the STEM advocate. They're going to additional trainings uh, for themselves so that they can build those classroom design challenges. And I believe it was the, during preschool week, they had an awesome oh, yeah. uh, preschool week where it was a design challenge that uh, was designed where teachers had to collaborate without talking. <laughs> um, had to use the different levels of senses to able to complete a task with little or no information. We want our students to struggle with this level of work so that they can understand that the, how to overcome those challenges that are taking place in the real world. So our, our STEM advocates are charged with taking, and they're full steam ahead with they that are. process. They really are. Yeah. It's, a, it's a great team and just innovative thinkers, Correct. you know, and, and really charging right alongside with you with changing the culture of the school mm -hmm. and really reigniting the excitement for education yeah. and instruction and you can really feel it when you come on your campus it's it's a lot of fun anytime yeah. you visit there it's just a great it's just a great experience i'm glad that so, you're enjoying it yes you're doing a great you can job come over anytime. oh thanks we spent a lot of time over there um just as, as we get ready to wrap up, I know um, there are going to be several events over the next few months um, that, that families will have an opportunity to participate in. You know, existing families of students mm -hmm. already there, but there will also be um, opportunities for new students and families that are interested in being a part of this amazing opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the events that will be coming up maybe over the course of the next few months that we can kind of keep an eye out for? Well, I, I know we we're trying to see if we can plan one before the end of this uh, year, right. uh, 2018, mm -hmm. where we're going to open up our campus and we're just going to invite all in all to, say, to Westwood and just come see what we're doing. Our teachers are going to be stationed. We're going to have some of our students participate in the, what they're doing in the classroom. So it's a basically you'll have a first eye, birth eye view on what's going on in that classroom. Then we'll have another one in March when we have our eighth grade open house night where the campus will be open again uh, to the families out there to come on out and come see what 
so as we say, the great things that are happening yeah. at Westwood High School and be a part of something new, something different, and have an experience that is out of this world. Absolutely, yeah. and we, it's time for us to wrap up, but the one thing, you know, you just talked about the pride and really understanding yeah. what that Panther Pride is really about, and for people to, to get a glimpse of that, mm -hmm. um, just by coming on the campus and really seeing what's unique about Fort Pierce Westwood, um, they're gonna get a chance to see amazing things when they come on this campus. So we really wanna encourage you. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having uh, me, Jane. Thanks for just sharing with us a little bit. And um, later on in the year, we'll get a chance to do maybe a, a live tour of the, of the school and give people kind of that virtual glimpse of what's happening. Um, but we really want to encourage you to check out what's happening at Westwood High School um, through the grant programs. We also want to encourage you to visit St. Lucie Public Schools website. Keep an eye out for all the amazing things happening um, in our schools through, especially through this magnet grant through CAST and through Sam Gaines Academy and along with Fort Pierce Westwood. We don't want you to miss this opportunity to have your children participate in some unique, in, innovative opportunities that will be out of this world, just like Joe said. So we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned and we'll see you soon.